Hello, good afternoon everybody. Sorry I'm a little bit late. We had a bit of a technical hitch there. Um, but aren't we busy? Who's on YouTube already? We have uh, Sharon and Carol and Andrew. Hello. And uh, Angela Fee. Hello to you too. Dreary Ned. Oh, it's lovely here. It's sunny and it's warm. And it's lovely. Um, hi Janet, Abby, Sheila, Stephanie, Margaret, Michelle and uh, Kaz and Ella Cherry. Loads of you. Who's on Facebook? Sorry if I miss anybody. Um, Hi Sarah, yeah, all, all's good here, thank you very much, hope you are. Hi Jan, Dawn, Diane, Christine, Diane, Christine, oh, I'm repeating myself, and um, who's that? Oh, hi Olive, hi Barbara, and um, sorry, the, the, your messages are bouncing around a bit, I don't know what you're doing. Um, oh, I'm on YouTube, um, who was that? Sound a bit echoey, I don't know why. Shouldn't be sounding echo, everything's okay here. Um, hello Sandra, Kirsty, hello to you. So in Coronation Bunting. Um, Maria, hello to you. Hello Joyce and Teresa. So, so along today. Has, oh, oh, Blodwin's getting you on the cruise ship while in Sicily, ready to sail off. Very nice. Won't be sewing along then. Is anybody sewing along with us today? Have you got your ingredients? Are we all ready? We're going to be making a book cover. So this is it, and it's a book cover with a zip pocket on the front. It's ever so easy, and it's kind of made to measure for your book. It does button at the back. If you don't put the pocket on it, I would have put the button on, on the front. Um, but I didn't think there was room on it on the front because um, it did interfere with the pocket. So that's what we're going to do. I'm very good. Thank you, Alan. How are you? Um, Julian's here as well. Juliet. Nick is just watching. And oh, Alana's watching on, on the big TV, on my widescreen. Um... Oh, Sylvie likes the idea. Lovely. Anne's hoping to sew along. Okie doke. I thought, you know, why are we echoing? Don't know why we're echoing. Because I'm all normal here. Unless I do that. Is that any different? Does that make a difference? Um, sounds like I've got two audio inputs. Nope, I don't have two audio inputs. Try that one. Is that any better? Tell you what the problem is. My, li my little um, console down here, I was polishing it earlier on, had a bit of a clean up. And uh, <laughs> you know, you put the duster over the buttons and they all change colours and flash. Is that better? Oh, lovely. Well, I'll remember that for next time then. Yeah. Okay. So, um, hello, Shelley. Um, from Southport in North Carolina. What's your weather like over there, I wonder? Um, oh God, I've just, you see, just press buttons and it, it writes itself eventually. I could have switched it off and on again, that might have worked. Um, no, I didn't, Carol. It is from Next. They do a whole range of um, William Morris prints, so I've got a few of those. I, I know, Sally. I think I'm, I'm allowed in my sewing room, I kind of thought, to do dusting on a Saturday. It was getting a bit thick. I was, I get, didn't need doing down there. So, But only a light dusting, no vacuuming, anything, no, nothing like that. Um, can't sew along my left hand's inside. Oh no, Sarah. Can't you sew with one hand? I suppose not. Maybe, maybe next time. Okay, fuss it, Carol. What, this? No, no, William Morris. Um, so anyway, as I'm having a bit of a clear out, I thought we'd do a giveaway or two. So do you remember the slashed fabric um, zipped pouches that I made? These are a YouTube video. I thought I'd give them away. Um, they have been knocking around the studio for a while, and I thought it would be because I was going to throw them away. So I thought I'd give one away. So one to somebody from Facebook, and one to somebody from YouTube. So all you need to do is to leave a comment, and then afterwards, I can't do it now because I can only scroll back so far, um, but after we've finished, I shall do a random spinning through all of your comments. I should pick somebody from Facebook and somebody from YouTube and somebody will win one of each of those. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. I don't mind posting anywhere. Um, Anne's got a Cottage Girl package. Hello, Rebecca in Texas. <laughs> hope is at golf. Irene is doing what she loves best. I hope, I hope that's the sewing. Um, Anne's making a rucksack. Pick me, please. At random, Andrea. No favourites. Um, oh, that's a nice idea. Jan's waiting for her, her granddaughter to come round for a, for a sewing lesson. That would be nice. Uh, Wetting Workington. 
Those punches come to Mass pouches come to Massachusetts. They'll go anywhere you like, Diane. I just need to pick you. I'll post um, after the end of the live on the Half Yard Sewing Club Facebook page, which is where you are, and on YouTube as well. Linda <laughs> says I couldn't win an argument. <laughs> okay, so have we got any new members for the Half Yard Sewing Club? Uh, maybe you're one of the, we had hundreds of new members that joined from the offer that Crate and Craft were doing last weekend, so welcome along if you're one of those. Um, it's it's one way, and I know I've, I've said it a lot, um, of keeping the price down. We've been going for almost five years now, and we've never increased the price. It's still £5.99 a month. So it was a one-off, and um, it did drive a lot of people to join the club and that's brilliant because that means that we won't be putting the prices up for the foreseeable future. Hello Jan, here for the first time. Um, Deirdre joined last weekend and I'm loving it. Oh, I'm glad. No, welcome aboard. It is a lovely place to be. Um, it's growing. I mean there's thousands of us now and we're all worldwide. If you're watching from anywhere outside of the UK and you've been thinking about joining, you don't have to be in the UK. You can be anywhere as long as you've got the internet and you've got a printer. That's all you need because we don't post anything out. All of the projects are downloadable. Um, Club Excellent Valley. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Debbie makes craft fair. Went well. Oh, Lord. I've got a picture. I'd love to see a picture of that. Um, not making today, but watching with the cup. Lovely. Didn't I change the date in the title? That's, I, th I thought I had. I thought I'd put the 20 session on. Um, I don't, I know I haven't done a stand at pencil case. So the pencils are on that end, no. But I'll, I'll have a look at that feed because I think that's a rather nice idea. Uh, Lorraine says, fantastic club. Margaret says, thank you. Uh, welcome to all of the new members. Thank you very much. We're a very friendly group, don't you know? Do you want a quick look? And then we'll get sewing. So for those of you that have been watching for a while, maybe, or it's the first time you've not actually um, seen the club before, let me just get this on the website. We'll do it quickly because I've shown you around this a lot recently. But if we have a look on the Half-Yard Sewing Club here, that's what we look like. You can get a month for free. Um, and then it's £5.99 a month or uh, £60 a year or in the US £9.95 a month or $99. But that will be translated um, to an anybody, anybody's currency wherever you are in the world. So let's pop this in there and sign in and this is what you're going to get. So if we have a look at the sewing projects to start with, the most recent one is the celebration set with the bunting don't have to do that with red, white and blue. That can be any colour you like. You could make it pastels, you could make it florals or patterned. Um, you'll have each of these projects for two years and then we take them down. But you will be notified when they're coming down, which is coming down, and you have the opportunity to save it. So you've got a, a, quite a backlog of, you'll always have two years worth of projects basically. But then we go and bring things back, like the bum bag from 2019. This is the block of the month. These are released on the first of the month. Your main project will be on the first of the month. Your secondary project will be um, on the 15th. The quilted tote bag is free to anybody. So you don't have to log in to get that. If you want to have a look, you want a free project to anybody, don't have to join up, then you can have that. Um, but just have a quick look at the wide selection of different types of projects that you're going to be able to enjoy. That was our very first project in August 2018. Brought that one back. Brought this one back. Mad Maddy will always be there on the website. Um, but we've got different kinds of sewing techniques. There's hats and a bit of dressmaking. That's a skirt, doll's house, bags. There's quilting. There's smocking. There's a bow tie. Um, there's upcycling. And these winter hats are really nice. I know we're kind of out of that at the moment, but may as well make some up for next year. We've got toys, we've got quilts and tea cozies, exploding boxes, draft excluders, laptop bags, gardening sets, including an apron, a dragon toy, that's a Daphne. Then we've got a bit of wonky street, kimono reversible jacket, a cat bed. So I think you can see there is a lot of different styles of projects for you. 
So I hope we're going to keep you busy when you join up anyway. Um, couldn't find how to see the live, hence late to the party. I was on that earlier looking for the vanity bag, but couldn't find it. I assume it's been pulled. Can't remember, but Laura will know. Laura knows more about what's on that website than I do. Um, Sarah says, amazing value. So many projects, tips, and an amazing family of fellow sewers. The Shorettes. <laughs> I like that. Um, that is for peacock on a bag. Now, Mary, I used to work uh, with Crafter's Companion many years ago. I think I left there about six years ago. And I did do I did design some dies for them, so I don't have those. I don't I don't use dies, um, but I I did I did make dies for them. So yeah, that that was a while ago. Um, oh, Laura made and sold the free tote bag. Oh oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, Julie. Laura is the guru of Half Yard Sewing Club. I know. Um, does Bob ever watch? By the way, Bob. Um, replies to so many comments because we've got a forum on there as well where you know you can ask questions and have a chat uh, but I've, I've not seen bob on here some elephants in the background we have an elephant and a mouse back this one uh, elephant and a mouse those those are one of the projects that are brought back they're actually drawstring bags they're, they're like night dress cases but with um with a head in them making ban banana jam janet never never tried banana jam Mm. Blood when you should have a purple parcel when you get home. Mm. Right, anyway, should we do a little bit of sewing? So do we have our books at the ready? I'm going to cover my diary this time. They're really nice and you could personalise them as well, you know, if you want to embroider some initials or put some um, applique on there. Yeah, Alan, I don't, I don't know what happens with the CD-ROMs. When I was working for Crafters Companion, just FYI, um, I made a, a, a lot of CD-ROMs with, um, with videos and, and downloads and everything. When I left, they stopped working, and I don't know why. But I don't own them. I don't have any rights to them. I don't have copies of them. Um, I've um, been told that if, you, if you're on a PC, and you choose the Mac users option, then the video should work. But if you do have um, any uh, any of those video, any of those CDs that don't work, then please get in touch with Crafters Companion because I can't do anything about it. They're not they're not mine. They were for them. Anyway, um, it was that I could do I could do applique shapes. Could revisit that with applique shapes. Hmm. Mm. Anyway. Um, Olive's got all of the CDs and not tried any yet. Oh, Olive, I hope they work. Um, the fabric's beautiful. What's the name of it? Oh, this one. Oh, gosh. This is a Lynette Anderson, but I can't remember the name of it. If you have a look on my website, on .com, um and put in Lynette Anderson, Sylvia. It'll come up there. And remember, if you are a Half Yard Club member, you get your 10% discount. I've got some little hearts floating up there on YouTube. How did that happen? I didn't know you could do that on YouTube. That was quite sweet. Thank you for anybody who sent little hearts up there. That was really sweet. Huh? Bobbin's just outside. She won't come in. Anyway, so that's, that's my diary. And first thing we need to do is to measure it. And I'm going to measure while the book's closed. So from one side, because it'll be a bit shorter when the book's open. So from one side, all the way around to the other. And that is 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters. So I'm going to cut my fabric to that size and then add half an inch all the way around. Half an inch, half an inch, all the way around. So, let me get my mat up. Whoops, come here. And let's take the outer fabric first of all. In fact, we can do one outer and one lining. So we can cut those together if you like. A guinea pig house, Kathy. That's, a, that's, a, that's one, something I've not done before. So cut both pieces together if you wish. I'm just going to turn my mat around. So it's not quite big enough and 
Yes, so you forgot to bring a rotary. Oh, I've got a rotary cutter. I've got a little one. Thought I'd forgotten my rotary cutter. So I'll take it quite slowly, okay, because I know a lot of you um, will be watching and not keeping up. So I'm just going to zoom up a little tiny bit to there. That's better. So let's trim off selvages first of all and make this edge straight. You know I've forgotten what the measurements are now, haven't I? So off with the salvages. And then it was 12 and a half, wasn't it? Did I measure 12? So 12 and a half inches around that way. And we'll need to measure our book that way. And my book is eight and a half inches. So 12 and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So I'm going to cut this to 13 inches by, no, we'll add an inch. Cut this to 14 inches, 12 and a, 13 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Did that make sense? The outer fabric you're working with, I um, can't remember. It's on the website. It's on my website, debbieshawsewing.com. Um, it is a, oh dear. Oh, Kimmy, you're watching. You'll know the name of this better than I do. I thought it was appropriate for a for a book cover. Sorry, and I didn't put it back again. I switched it off because I was coughing. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and then forgot to switch it back on again. Honestly. Honestly. Right. It's not very nice to listen to somebody coughing, is it? So, we're 12 and a half inches by 8 and a half inches. So I'm going to cut it an inch bigger to 13 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. So, and I'm explaining how to do that because your book probably isn't exactly the same size as mine. So whatever size you've measured, from front to back all the way around, add an inch from top to bottom, add an inch. And that'll allow for a quarter of an inch seam allowance and a quarter of an inch give all the way around so you can actually get the book inside there. <laughs> Fabric's upside down. I, I haven't, no, I'm OK at the moment, Andrea. I shall turn it the right way when I'm, um, when I'm sewing it. So, so I needed to be 13 and a half this way. Let me just do that. I work on a huge cutting mat in my studio and I do miss it while I'm down here, but kind of figuring you don't have one. So I'm just squaring off the fabric. Well, you probably do, but not everybody does, do they? So that's 13 and a half that way. And oh, where was I? 13 and a half is there. By nine and a half this way. It's quite easy to draw this out and cut with scissors if you don't have a, a rotary cutter ruler and mat. Okay. So we'll take that off the bottom. And then eight and a half, uh, nine and a half this way will be there. I'm just going to stand up and cut this piece. Okay, so that's that. Uh, my fabric is directional, uh, Brenda. Um, it 
doesn't really matter whether yours is or not for this one but that's what my book's going to look like and again I've just got that extra bit of fabric all the way around so I've got so I can actually fit it in there okay what I also need to do is to cut out the pieces where did I put the book that go on the inside so these bits in here okay so they need to be the same length this way and three inches each that way and I'll need I think I did all of these are the outer fabric I did I'll need four pieces and I'm using the outer fabric for that so that was nine and a half in this direction and three inches on that direction Five by forty-five. I have to have my three months till the middle of May, so I do put a code in when that finishes. Yes, Rachel. Yes, that would work. Um, headline is half hard club. Did I not explain that very well? Is that is that hard, Chris? Have to get the zip as well for the code book. Oh. Oh, did I bring a zip down? I know I forgot the zip earlier, didn't I? I forgot to put, I did bring a zip, I forgot to put a zip in the instructions, but I'd, I've hopefully I've amended that. The book fabric today, yes, this is, this is a directional one, uh, Brenda. Um, right, so. So again, from here, three inches, two pi four pieces all together, so two pieces for each side and three inches wide. So the same depth, but three inches wide. So let's turn that over. Let me know if I'm not explaining that well enough, if, if, if that is the half hard club. Right, I'm just going to stand up and trim this back again. <clears throat> I've got a bit more fabric than I did recommend for you here. Um, on the instructions, I did give the correct amount of fabric, a little bit more than you needed, just in case your book's a bit bigger than mine. So three inches wide, and we need four pieces. So one, and two, and three. I know these are too long, but there's not enough on one strip on my fabric to make four pieces. So I'll need to cut those down again after. So I'm going to take the four pieces here and cut these to nine and a half inches in length. Um, I didn't use a continuous piece of fabric, Angela, because I've got this stuck in the middle of it. So I, I needed a seam to put the elastic in there, so I just did the same on both sides. You could use a continuous piece on the opposite side, but then the measurements would be different. So I just thought this was easier to explain. And then let's line those up and cut that to nine and a half inches. Okay. Um, ain't, ain't half hard. Ain't half hard. Is it, is this going to be too hard? I didn't think. Um, geez, God, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm missing it. half. Half yard so long is alive so long. I was sorry. I think I'm missing some of your comments there. Uh, or just making a patchwork teddy bear using coronation fat quarter fabrics. That's a nice idea. Um, right. So outer pieces. Is anybody actually sewing along? Sorry, it's not too hard, is it? Um, and then the two pieces for the sides here and then we'll need to do the section for the zip now I've used the same fabric but a coordinating fabric down the front there might have been quite nice as well so we'll cut out the fabric pieces for this now these bits are three inches so three inches wide that way and those little pieces at the end are one and a half inches so I want two of that one and two of that one So, did 
two strips of three inches. And that one. And then two strips of one and a half inches. And one and a half. Right, so that's all the fabric pieces cut. Just need to trim these down to the nine and a half inch width as well. And then I'll just go through the whole lot all over again and just explain how to measure and how you're going to cut your pieces. And let me know if you're keeping up or if you're not or if you want me to go back over anything. And nine and a half inches that way. So do we sell advertising? I, do, I would not know how to start, Sarah. Um, as it's suggesting we buy stars to the club and then we can pin an advert. I don't know anything about advertising um, on Facebook. I wouldn't know how to do that, and I don't sell advertising space. And I don't, I'm not a fan of the stars. I think if you, how does that work? If you buy, if you send stars, then you're sending me money. Um, I've never done that. I don't, I don't want your money. So no, I, I don't, I don't do the stars. But I don't understand how advertising works, so I've never done that before. Maybe you can let me know. Um, Julian's going to have a go later. Right. Oh, hello, Rosina. I wasn't sure how to watch live. I'll be able to watch that. Yes, the whole video will stay here, Lucy, later on as well. A star notice is on. I don't know why a star notice is on. That's nothing to do with me, Olive. Um, don't know anything. I don't know anything about that. Let me know. Let me know how it works. No idea. Okay, let me explain again. So, take your book. No, I haven't got. I've been using my forty-five mil um, rotary cutter down in the office, and I've I've lost it. I've lost it down there. So we're going to measure from one side of the book all the way around to the other side of the book while it's closed. So mine measures twelve and a half inches or thirty-two centimeters. And then we're going to measure. If you open the book up. It's going to be a bit shorter because of the spine. So we're going to keep the book closed while we measure it. And then we'll measure from the top to the bottom of here. Mine is eight and a half inches. Then add an inch to each one. So my fabric this way is nine and a half inches and my fabric that way is 13 and a half inches. So nine and a half inches that way, 13 and a half inches that way. And then I've cut a lining piece to the same size and then for the end pieces, there are two pieces of fabric for each end. So four pieces of fabric that all measure the same. And those are nine and a half inches this way, the same as this fabric, and three inches in that direction. Am I talking too fast? Sorry, Peggy Sue. I'll slow down a bit. So whatever size your book is, because I know that your book will probably not be the same size as my book. Um, Whatever size that is, you're going to add an inch all the way around. So an inch to this side and an inch to that side. Then you should have a really nice snug fit when you put this book inside. OK. And then the zip section is going to be whatever this is here. So mine again is nine and a half. And there's one piece which is three inches or one side which is three inches. We've got two pieces of fabric for this and one side which is one and a half inches and two pieces of fabric for this. So let's put the zip section in first. So you're going to take your zip, it's got the label on mine still, and I've allowed a little bit of extra for the zip so that it can, um, so that you can sew without the slider and the, um, and the stoppers getting in the way. And oh, I've got that much 
I think they are saying you're heading for this live. Did I type in Half Hard Club? Did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying that the project was hard. Ooh, <laughs> I better change that. Thank you, June. <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't realise I'd typed it in wrong. That's entirely my fault. I thought you were saying that the project was hard. Um, I can't amend it at the moment while I'm live. I should do that later. Thanks for letting me know. That's a silly thing to do, wasn't it? <laughs> right. So then we're going to sew these together. So do the short side first, okay? And we're going to sew one piece, right sides together to the zip, and sew straight down the centre of the zip tape down here. So the top of the zip, the, um, this bit, is face down here. Um, there won't be any instructions or measurements as he go because um, we're making it to measure for your own your own book size. So have a look back through the video when we finish and I'll explain how to measure so you get a bespoke book cover. Just come unplug that. Let's put that back in again. There we are. Right. So you can pin this if you like or use your glue pens or tape or however you fit these. If you've got a computer or sewing machine then you can um, move the needle from one side to another. So I just need to switch that off and on again by using the stitch width, off you go, the stitch width button on your sewing machine. That's it. So I can move the needle over to the left hand side like that. If you prefer to put a zipper foot on your sewing machine, then, then do so. So I need to arrange that so that the needle is sewing straight down the centre of the zip tape. Oh, yes, absolutely. Angela, make sure the directional fabric is the same way. So I'm going to have the zip at the top, so directional fabric facing the same way as the zip. Thank you for spotting that. All right, let's line up the edges of this. and sew straight down the zip tape. And again, if you prefer to put the zipper foot on your machine, that's fine. Let me know if you need a second to do that. So we have that. And then the second side of the fabric is going to go on the opposite side. I like to sew from the same side as I've just sewn so I can see where the stitches are. Line up the edges of the fabric like so. And then sew over the same stitch line. So we've got this. So the zip is right in the centre of the two pieces of fabric. Hey Bob. Now we're going to sew these two pieces right sides together with the zip in the middle. So as that's sitting there like that, we're going to sew straight down this edge. And again I'm using no more than a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Let's just line those two edges up. And we're sewing this to make a tube. I'll just reverse the end of that because I'm going to put a bit of pressure on it in a second. Right. And then we need to turn this the right side out. So it's actually quite easy. Just fold the edge of the fabric back and then start to pull the zip through. This is why we started on the smaller side first because we're going to do exactly the same with the opposite side. So just keep going with it. Be patient. It will come through. So just keep pulling. 
tweezers may help if you have them. Oops, sorry about the knocking. And then your sensuously. Um, Oh, Chris, yeah, I, I kind of got it now, Chris. <laughs> I thought you just thought you just meant that it was a hard project. Oh, I can imagine typos in it. But hopefully, I haven't got enough to fill a book, June. So you can see it coming through. Just just keep pulling that bit. And if you do struggle a little bit, then get a pair of tweezers and get in there with it. But this is worth it because you get a really nice, neat finish. So is anybody keeping up? All right. Just keep going, just keep going. Almost there. So any new members today? Anybody taking advantage of the free month on the Half Yard Club? There we go, it's all come through. So we've got that. I'm not going to iron it at the moment because I need to do the same with the opposite side of the zip. So again, make sure that my fabric is facing in the right direction. And right sides together. I like to sew from the zip side. Line up the edge of the fabric here with the edge of that fabric. Line up the edge of the zip with the edge of the fabric and also straight down the centre. Right, so, and I do these one half at a time. I've probably explained before, simply because I, I can see where I'm sewing. Whereas if I put two pieces of fabric together um, and sandwich this in the centre and then sewed, I can't guarantee that I can see where I'm stitching. So if I did, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't put two pieces of fabric together, zip in the middle and feel where the stitches are, uh, where the teeth are. But because I've already sewn this side, I can see where the stitches are and I find that a lot more accurate. And zip's too long. As I said earlier, I like to sew with the, uh, the stoppers and the sliders and all of the paraphernalia that comes with zips out of the way. Right, so we do exactly the same as we did before. So the zip and the top of the zip is in the middle. Let's fold this over and sew it into a tube, trapping all of that inside. So just line up the edges. I think I'll go back to my central position now with the needle. And so. Oh, Patricia's got a poorly poodle on her lap. Oh, I don't. Know. She's not really poorly, Bobbin, but she has got a she has got a bad leg, a front leg. This this may be a little bit messy, but she doesn't come down. Oh, look, how on earth did I do that? That was a very clever thing to do. Do bear with me a second. I have no idea how I did that. Or that. Oh, I did that. Fancy. So, I just I just pressed a button by mistake. Do apologise. If I go to this and just swizzle this around a little bit, let me see if I can do that. And then where is she? Oh, where are you, Bob? Oh, I can't get to her. There she is. <laughs> there she is, a Bob. Hello, B. Hello, Sudi. Sorry, that was a that was a little bit wobbly, wasn't it? Let me put that back again down there where it was. That may not be pointing in the right direction. Oh, well, that's okay. That that kind of worked, didn't it? Hello, Sudi. It's all red eyes, haven't you? It doesn't matter. Um. Oh, thank you for keeping up. I'm sorry I haven't been reading your um, messages enough. Um, I hope you're keeping up with this. I hope that's all okay. Right. Oh, now look, you can see PJ's fell over. 
<laughs> had PJ sitting on the chair over there. And then we'll do the same as we did before. So let's open that up. Have I knocked the sound off, Sarah? Let's pull this through just the same as I did before. I can do that up from here, actually. That may be easier. She's watching me out of the corner of her eye. Hello, darling. And now I haven't got the grandchildren this week, Sophie. She hasn't, she hasn't been sleeping an awful lot. Um, if I'm in the house or if I'm in my studio, she sleeps in the window and, uh, when, and she sleeps. But when I'm going backwards and forwards and up and down the garden and feeding the chickens and um, Tyler's here with his girlfriend and there's people around, she doesn't sleep. So as soon as she hits something soft like that chair, she zonks. <laughs> right, so we've got this. Oh, Sarah muted me. I'm glad it wasn't me. Now I'm going to press it. So let's put the iron on and let's just bring up the ironing pad. And we do some lovely walks, Michelle. Um, I, I did put a picture on uh, my Facebook page of the walk yesterday because the rape fields are just bright yellow. They're, they're beautiful. Um, hadn't been on that walk for a while and it was just quite a surprise last time I was there it was muddy and this time the whole the whole of the horizon is just yellow but we're, we're very lucky um, where we live because a five minute walk in any direction it looks like that we're, we're kind of in a dip with just surrounded by countryside and we walk three or four miles a day when the weather's nice no it's a front leg this time alone I don't know what she's done um, she's just been we, we had had some work done on our pond a few weeks ago and um, the chap brought his puppy with him, and it was a, a Dr. Bordeaux. It was huge and very bouncy. And they spent all day bouncing around in the garden, and then she's got very stiff legs. And um, every time we go for a long walk since then, she just starts limping again, so I don't, I don't know what she's done. Um, beds and blankets in this area. It's cr a Christian sheet. She sleeps in the window. We've got quite deep windows because it's, it's an old stone place so the, the windows are about this deep. So she has a cushion in the window and then just wakes up and barks at the neighbours. It's funny this morning. Um, she, <laughs> she adores our postman, Gaz, because he gives her biscuits and she couldn't get out of the window to come to the door to get her biscuits this morning. So we opened the window and he fed her through the window. Spoiled dog that. Spoiled dog from our postman. So I've just pressed that and then I'm going to top stitch along each side of the zip. Uh, rape seed, that's it. It is amazing. There we go. When it's in blue, a bit smelly, but it is amazing. So just sew along each side and then we'll snip the ends of the zip off. Oh, I'd love a dog to Bordeaux, Linda. They are the most beautiful dogs. Lovely temperaments. Very bouncy. A little bit dribbly. Big poos, actually. Right. That is my thread. Broken. So bear with me while I re-thread my, my sewing machine. I don't know why that broke. Ah. Got wrapped around the spool holder. That's why. Uh, so he says, my dogs love our postage as well, they have biscuits for Clever idea that with a postman, isn't it? Um, we have a regular and then we have Dave and they both bring biscuits with them. But then when we have a delivery from anywhere else, she gets really confused because she doesn't get biscuits. She gets all excited when the doorbell rings and then <laughs> no biscuits. That's confusing for a spoiled dog. Um, I wish I could add pics for your living. Because I have lovely walks on the doorstep. Oh, you can on um, on Facebook, can't you? Just can't do that on YouTube. Who's that, Glennis? Mini Aussie, Aussie Doodle. Aussie Doodle. What's a mini Aussie Doodle? I can't imagine. Something to do with the poodle, I would imagine. Um, that was screens in the US. We have screens on. No, we don't tend to have screens on the windows, Debbie. Never attempted zipper, it's always been a bit scared. Definitely have a go. Uh, they, uh, once you've done one, Catherine, you'll find them really, really easy. You'll be putting the zips in everything, whether they need it or not. Um, right, so let's carry on sewing that bit and then I'll show you. Oh, hi, Nancy. 
Um, missed a few of the most recent videos. I'm so glad to have found you today. You need happy and friendly chats. Oh, we'll have a happy and friendly chat, Nance. Um, I've lost my scissors. Here we are. Okay. So, now we're going to whip off the ends of the zip. Not this end while the zip pull is over there, though. So, let's do that. And then I'm just going to sew the ends of the zip together um, just so that they don't kind of open up as I'm sewing. So right really close to the end and just gives me tweezers actually while I'm there. Just sew the ends of the zip together like that. A patted down. I don't know what a patterdale is. So I've got that. And that's the pocket done. Right. So we'll put that to one side and we're going to go back to the front of the bag and we're going to put some fusible fleece on the wrong side of it. So I'm using H630 so it's not too bulky. And where have I put it? There we are. So you, you, you don't necessarily have to interface this, but I thought we'd quilt it, uh, in which case I wanted something a bit padded. You could use wadding. I just like the way that this sticks to the fabric. And a bit of steam with this works wonders. Hi, Karen. 10.50 a.m. Giselle, where are you? Is that in Australia? Uh, all kinds of creatures would crawl into our homes in Massachusetts if we didn't have screens. Oh, really? We get chickens walking in the front door if we leave it open. <laughs> don't, know don't know about the windows. Um, the Madison bag video. I don't know where. I can't remember. Was that on YouTube? I can't remember. Um, coming up on mosquito and black flies. Say, Ooh, and the ticks are terrible, says Biz. Oh, I'd rather have chickens than ticks myself. Oh, Giselle is in Alabama. Oh, hello, welcome along. Carrie's got a three pound chihuahua. He tries to sit in my chair when I'm saying to protect me from a sewing machine. That beast of a sewing machine of yours. Okay, so I'm just going to iron that down a little and then cut it out so I'm not getting glue on my iron. 1.50 a.m. in the morning in Australia. Woo, Christine. Are you stopping up late or have you got up early? So let's just cut this out and show what I'm doing. Like so. As it doesn't need interfacing really if you're not going to if you're not going to quilt it. Not entirely necessary. That'll do. A little bit here. And then I'm going to iron up to the edge. So we're looking a little bit messy, aren't we? Don't like, don't like looking messy. Um, how you made your own ironing mat, Beatrice? I can't remember what year it was. I know I made it on January the second. So if you go back through um, my Facebook and YouTube lives, or if you put in uh, in the search engine. Um, ironing mat then there is a video on how to make it uh, iron full of name do you know olive i cleaned it it hasn't gone a it's the same iron it's the one that rita got me uh, but it was being photographed um, for some some work i was doing i thought i can't really i can't really put a picture in a book of an iron with debbie written all over it so i did polish it up a little bit but before it leaves the studio again as in next time i go to create and craft it will be covered in my name um, I'm looking for Debbie's iron not to. Yeah, I, I, I remember the date. It was a couple of years ago. It might have been 2021. 2020. It was a while ago I made it. Collector's item. I know, Sarah. At least. I've heard you're having a happy and friendly chat. We are having a happy and friendly chat. So that's what Nancy wanted, so that's what we're having. Oh, good. What here's, we got? Here's a little coffee. Happy and friendly eggs. I thought you'd mention them later. <laughs> uh, you'll need a mat. Have you have you this noticed 
And anybody else for coffee? No, don't ask them. Don't ask them. They want. They don't want coffee. They don't want the gin. They want the gin. whiskey. They want the car. Don't well, they? You know what they like? All the new ones want gin too. They want everybody. They all want. They want the gin. They're right, right boozy lot. This lot. So don't ask them. Right, I'll get the ice oh, and then, then. then you get the posh ones like Laura. I'm sure it's Laura that has cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Mm. Yeah, but don't know. Don't know. Anyway, cappuccino and gin. <laughs> Afterwards. Um, Peggy wants. Oh, there you go. Look, Gary. Peggy yeah. wants a stiff drink. Linda wants tea and cake. Linda will have tea. Well, who was watching at uh, ten o'clock at night? Ten thirty at night. Can't remember. Yeah. Oh, Julie wants gin. June will have a coffee. Elsie will have coffee. Oh, Di Diane wants a, a cosmopolitan. <laughs> I don't know what. I, I think that's a cocktail. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm getting the gin uh, and the oh, ice out now. Chrissy wants ground coffee with tea and Maria. Large yeah. glass of red wine for Daisy. Can we all drop over? <laughs> Black currant tea. You're a posh lot, you lot, aren't you? <laughs> Black tea. Whoa. Oh, just water for Gisella. Whiskey and coke for Fee. <laughs> um, Bailey's for Christine. A half, hard, <laughs> a half hard of beer. <laughs> a prosecco, oh, Caroline's quite up market with her, with her cocked finger. She's going to be a Prosecco. <laughs> Mind you, it's that time, isn't it? It is five to five. So you, you are allowed something. I, I shouldn't say that, should I? I'm going to get in trouble from somebody somewhere. Somebody somewhere. Anyway, it's nearly five o'clock. It's going to be ages yet. I hope you're all right for a bit of time. Rhubarb gin. I've never had a rhubarb gin, Sally. Never heard of that one. Right. Um, should we quilt this? May as well while we're here, anyway. If I can find my pen. There we go. Oh. All right. So I'm going to draw diagonal lines at 45 degrees. So let's plunk the ruler on there, 45 degree line on the ruler at the edge of the fabric and draw. And then move the ruler so that these are two inches apart. You could make them smaller, but we really will be here all day if I'm going to do too much quilting. And just draw across there. And then let's turn this around and carry on in this direction. I don't think anybody's sewn along now, are they? Um, Rhubarb, rhubarb and ginger gin. Oh, what do you like? Bought, brought to Northampton, went to college and catering. Always knew where we were, the smell of the rapeseed. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the smell. Love the look of it, but I don't like the smell. The one with the green mesh, print the back with the green mesh, back with the green mesh. That is one of the Harvey Club projects and it is a pen holder. So there's somewhere to put uh, papers, patterns, pens, paint brushes, makeup brushes, pockets on the front, zip pocket on the back. And that zip pocket was made in the same way as this zip pocket was. But that is a half yard club project. So have a look on the website for that one. <laughs> Sarah says we're all on the booze so we can't sew along. I think we're all on the booze before personally. I need to get an Edinburgh rhubarb and ginger gin liqueur. Oh, oh, I don't know, Gillian. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's do it in the opposite direction now. So again, this way. And there. And another one. Then you can have to sit and watch me sew in straight lines while we put all this together. So go and get yourself a rhubarb gin, if you like, while we just do this sewing. Um, enjoy your day as well, Elsie. Nice to have you here. Seville, oh, hang on, what was that? Seville orange what? Um, where's my mouse gone? Alana doesn't drink. Rhubarb and gin. Oh, I missed that one. I'm sure somebody said Seville oranges. Oh yes, Seville orange gin liqueur. Is that a bit like Cointreau? Cointreau is an orange liqueur, isn't it? I'm quite happy with that on a rare occasion. No ice. Um, 
Andre, any pattern you like. If you wanted to do a little bit of meandering, you don't have to quilt it at all. You could do um, maybe wavy lines on your sewing machines, just up and down like that. You could do diagonal lines, or you could um, quilt around the outlines of any of those. Which, which what do I prefer? Mike and Holly, which what? I think I missed something there. Right, let's stitch across these. So again, if you want to chat amongst yourselves while we do this, it may take a while. I can lengthen the stitch a little bit, so I'm going up to a 2.8 on this one. I've gone to a floral design for some reason. I don't know why I've done that. Um, I, it's, not, it's not me, Glennis. You're leading yourselves astray. There will be lining on it. The lining isn't on at this point, Anne. Uh, the lining goes on in a bit. Gin and orange marmalade. And we're just going to quilt over all of those lines. Maybe a while. I don't think either, but it's partake and ask if it's offered. <laughs> you can't be a non-drinker and partake in an asti, Jilly. Now what's going on? Oh, nothing just got caught up a little bit. I uh, received my lemon pack. Would please tell me which side to put the reflective fleece? Shiny side next to wrong or the other way around? Um, oh, I should have put that in the instructions, shouldn't I? Um, I would put shiny side facing whatever's going to touch the pan. So, shiny side to the outside fabric. Because when you think about it, it's the shiny side that's reflective, so that needs to bounce the heat away. So if you're putting it on the oven mitt, for instance, then have the shiny side on that side. don't think it makes too much difference, to be honest, because the actual shiny side, if the heat goes through from the wadding side, it will hit the shiny side on the other side and bounce back anyway. So I don't, I don't think it matters too much. A bottle of Asti every Sunday. Posh Sunday dinners for you then, Julie, as well. As I have run out of bottom thread. That's what the problem was there. So just bear with me a second while I stick another one of these in. I know I've got one. There we are. I would love to sew this later on. Will it upload a video somewhere how to make? Um, I don't know when I'd be able to, Darcy. There is a very simple book cover on there at the moment. I did last week. It was the week before. Uh, with a zip pocket on the front. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to have time to do a whole new video just yet. Um, but that is a good idea. I shall certainly put it on the list. Um, lemonade and a slice. Of, oh, I can't bear slice, a slice of cucumber, Alana. I hate cucumber. Funny, isn't it? Just, oh, just horrible stuff. And pineapple. And watermelon. It all tastes the same. Nobody else like that. I'll try Darcy, so I just, I just don't know when at the moment. I have, um, I've got a few projects to do for, it's going to be the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of Half Yard Heaven, my best-selling book, uh, very soon. And we're coming up for 100,000 book sales. So we're having a relaunch of the book with five new projects. So I've been doing those today. I hate deadlines, you know, I've got to get them done by the end of the month. And I keep thinking, oh, well, loads of time. It's not the end of the month yet. Not too far away. Carrie would like the milk trainer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. It's not good on a ladder. <laughs> Is anybody else quilting along? Because I know I'm going rather quick with this because we're running out of time. So I'm assuming it's a no. Because nobody's actually said. So I think it, it might be one of these um, that you watch back later. But if you want me to slow down or shut up or anything, let me know. Yeah, well, if you want me to shut up, then I, I shan't. But you know, if you want me to slow down or slow down. Oh, lovely. We've got f oh, we do have some sewing along. Lovely. Are we okay with the speed we're going? 
I'm just making sure I've cooled off Mr. Line there. Do you want me to wait while you catch up, or are you okay sewing at this speed? Susan's only just started and sewing along lovely. I think I'm done now. You can normally tell from the back when you've covered it all. So we've got that, and let's just iron this away. My favourite food, Alana. Oh gosh. I'm very fond of avocados. I love lentils. I haven't had lentils for a while, actually. Um, I like Indian food. Don't like Chinese food. Don't know. I don't really. I don't really have a a favourite food. I like soda bread. I love eggs. Don't see my eggs. Look at these little things. <laughs> We're getting loads of them. The, the, the big one is eventually very good at laying eggs. They were very wrinkly for a while and look very odd. And then these little ones, they're, they're all at it. I'm getting three of these a day. But they're, they're popping them out all over the place. So I've got one broody chicken. Um, so she's just sat on fresh air at the moment. And the other two, I mean, one of those is at the back door, just plonked on the floor at the back door this morning. It's a strange place to put it. You could have used one continuous piece of fabric. That just entered my mind. I can't remember who commented on that, but you could have done. So you were right. Sorry about that. Because we're going to get, we're going to put the zip pocket on for, first. Um, should have said that, shouldn't I? Oh, well, we'll do it that way anyway, because we're doing it now. Right. So this is how the cover's going to go around the book. And then the pocket's going to go on the front like this. Not too close to the edge, because we don't want that to go into the seam allowance. So I'm going to put that about an inch away. All right. And we'll have a few pins. I've got clips, actually, just to hold that there while we sew it. That's true. Saving me from carrying it to the house. That's, that's why she did it. She's doing me a favour. And then we'll sew close to the edge down each side. Like so. Little boxes from half... I, it's not too fiddly with those boxes, actually, um, Gillian. Have you made them bigger yet? Because there's no turning inside out or bagging out or anything with them. Um, oh, so sew on the ends and then sew down the top and the bottom as well. Quite close to the edge for this one. Um, Tilly's at a swimming pool trying to watch the granddaughters. Oh, nice. And that side. And then across the end. And again, the end bits close to the edge within the seam allowance. I do need an egg apron, we're getting loads of them. So that's that stuck on the front there. Okay, then let's make these up. So yes, I'm sorry whoever mentioned earlier on your right you could have had these as six inch strips of fabric, not two three inch ones, so sorry about that. Um, I can't remember why I did it that way, there was a reason for it. So let's sew the edges of those together. So these are the bits that go inside the book, that wrap around the book cover. Made the small size and didn't find it fiddly. What part seems that way? Maybe I did something wrong. I don't think they'd be fiddly if you made them a lot smaller because, like I said, there's no turning out with those. And a lot of them are hand sewing anyway. Oh, 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 I know why I did it with two pieces of fabric. Originally, I was going to put lining fabric on the inside. So the outside bit that you see would have <coughs> 
I knew there was a method in it. The outside bit that you see there would be the outside, outer fabric and the inside would be lining. That's why I did it in two pieces. Honestly. Deborah. Yeah, but the elastic fastener is going on the other side, Re. I only just thought of that as I was putting it together. So I'm just going to fold that over and give it a press with the seam on the edge. So the elastic bit's going on this bit, on the open bit, not on that bit. Hello, Sonia. All right, so let's open this up. And iron that together as well. <laughs> Bodrum says, please don't shut up. <laughs> it, it'd be a bit dull, wouldn't it, if I did? Because I'm the only one that's actually talking. Uh, Right, now we'll do the elastic bit, if I can find what I've done with it. There we go. So on, I've just got a piece of elastic cord. That one was a hair bungee. And this is just some of that elastic cord that um, we used to make max masks with them. So let's cut that to, I can't remember what I said in the instructions, but a couple of inches, uh, maybe three inches. There. Whatever I said in the instructions, can't remember. And that's going to go, I'm going to put my button on the back again. If you weren't watching earlier, that's the front and the button goes around to the back. If you preferred the button on the front, then put the hook on the other side to what I'm doing now. But mine's going on the back. So we're going to fold this in half so I can mark the centre. I'm just going to put a little nick in there like that. There's my centre. And then fold this in half. And just sew it over that centre line. Didn't say how long. Oh, no, I know I said a hair bungee, didn't I? If you're using a hair bungee, just fold it in half. And under you go. And we'll just have a few stitches to hold that there. Not so. Right. And then we're going to put these end bits on. So just make sure we've got them the right side up. So we'll put the one over here first of all. Shall we do it that way? No, let's do it that way. We'll do the one over the opposite side to the... Um, the loop first of all. I just need to re-iron that a little bit because I haven't got the seam right on the edge and I've got a, a little gap here. Uh, so let me just fold that back over again and get the seam out so that the ed edges meet. That's better. Prims. <laughs> um, I have the pencil case attached to the top and then the button could go under it on the front. You couldn't really because if you just attached the top you wouldn't be able to get your pencils in. Is that what you meant? So this bit's loose? No, because it hasn't got a back on it. You need to put a lining on it, but you could do that with a lining on it. Right, so I've just got this one side here. And I'm just going to sew across the end by about five inches or so. So let's line those edges up. And I'm using my quarter of an inch seam allowance here, so we'll just sew a little way down there. Like so. Wrong camera then. I meant this one. Right? And then we're going to sandwich these or this together. So we'll put the second side on here, line up the edges, and then the lining is going to go over the top of it all. Okay? And I'm going to stick a few pins in here, not too close to the edge. 
and I've done with my other pin cushion. That's another thing that happens when I go to create and craft and I take all my bits with me. Don't always bring them back. I've got two pins. Oh, there's a pin. I only need four. Must be another pin somewhere. Let me do that. And that's it. Oh, there we go. I found some. Okay. I think that one's had glue on the end of it. No, so let me get another pin from over here. Oh, is my material the right way? Oh, Anne, let me check, let me check. Well, that one's upside down. So let's change that. Yep, I'm all the right way up. Thank you. Now we'll put the lining over the top. So this is the one that's sewn down. That one's not sewn down yet. And it's only sewn down this much. Thank you, Shelley. And then let's do this. And then we'll pin it. Yep, Diane, got it. Thank you. Stacy says, stop. <laughs> and three. I had four pins a moment. Oh, there we go. And four. Right. Then I'm going to sew all the way around. I'm going to sew from this side because that's the piece that I've already sewn down the side. So we're going to go from just overlapping each end here and all the way around the edge. I do, Laura. I, but the thing is, I don't go to Crate and Craft very often. So I, I don't really want the expense of having another sewing kit because it's um, far and few between. I do demos down there. Um, oh, I did notice, sorry, I didn't see who, but somebody was asking when the next Seamless Sunday is. I think, I think, it's the 7th um, of May. It's the day after the coronation, I think. I'm just going to move that zip out of the way a little bit. Just got a little bit in the way. Um, right, that's it. And we have, I think it's a Brother One Day special with Sarah Payne. We've got uh, Alistair, Daisy Chain Designs. There's some um, K facet fabric, which I think I'm doing. Can't remember who else. I think Karen from Seamless might be there. She was ill last time. So it'd be nice if she could come back again. I think that might be it. I think it might be a quiet one. Oh, somebody was asking as well on the Half Yard Club. Because I'm, I will be live on Coronation Day, what will I be sewing? I don't know. I don't know. Will anybody be watching? Um, so if you've got any suggestions as to what to sew for Coronation Day, bear in mind it's on the day, so it'll be a little bit late to, um, to start sewing your bunting and stuff like that. But um, yeah, if you've got, got any requests for Coronation Day, let me know. Right. So let's snip across the corners. All right. Get those out of the way. So again, I've sewn all the way around apart from where I, I sewed to start with. Um, Giselle, you can, we, we do ship to the States. It's quite expensive. Um, but Nancy and Diane and Rita are regular shoppers in the States. I think if it's, if you make it worthwhile with the amount that you spend, um, don't forget you get 10% discount if you're a club member as well. So that kind of goes towards it. Um, my fabrics aren't available as far as I know in stores over there. Although I think Joanne's might have some of them in. But the panels and things like that that we do, we don't distribute to other retailers. So they're just sold from our website. Special dress for Maddie. That's a good idea. <sighs> okay, so that's that. And let's turn this the right side out. Alan's going to make coronation beanies or a coronation rucksack. Nice. 
Oh, Cass going to be in Lanzarote on holiday. Lovely. Okay. I'm not going to sew this opening close. I'm going to leave that for you. But it still kind of looks like it's inside out to a certain degree. Let me push out those corners. I need a twiddly tool. Bear with me a second while I look for my twiddly tool, which I know I had here when I was tidying up, but I can't find it now, so I'll just use tweezers. Always the case. So I think you'll need to sew the opening closed by hand because if you sew that on a sewing machine, it's going to interfere with the seam. So I just do a little over edge stitch there. Let's poke these out. And on this side, just make it nice and sharp. Oh, I'm glad you're liking the project. I hope your hands a bit better soon, Sarah. Right. And then where the book ends are, we're going to flip that over. Go and pull out the corners. There's my bit of elastic. Pull out that corner. Flip this again. Sew that closed, and then flip those out. Margaret, I like Alpha for cutting mats. I like Alpha rotary cutters. I like Alpha mats, and I like Alpha rulers. Um, I don't. I've not really used anything else, so I can't compare and say which one I think is the best, but that's what I've always used. So, I, and they offers really good quality. They're not the cheapest, but they are really good quality. Um, you had a lovely bunny pattern a few years ago. I think you did it at Crate and Craft. Um, mm -mm. The, the thing with it, it's a bit like with Crafters Companion. Those are things that I made for Create and Craft when it was the old Create and Craft. And I think the video is still on YouTube, but the pattern isn't available anymore because the channel isn't there anymore and they owned it. I don't have a copy of it, I'm afraid. Um, an easy pig bag. That'd be a nice idea. I did put the peg bag download on. Um, on the website, I was asked for it. You know the peg bag that I'd made with the coronation, not the coronation set, with the one day special, the lemons and um, and Highland. Um, somebody asked if they could just buy a download for the peg bag on its own. So that is on the website on debbieshawson.com, and the tie dye, uh, the tie side handled bag is back on there as well. Um, coronation trinket pouch that you can add photos and small pieces to keep as a reminder of the day. Now that's a nice idea. Oh, I need to put some thought into that one, Yvonne. That was a lovely idea. Olive's going to try this one for a tablet with a bit of rejig. That's a, that's a nice idea. Oh, share pictures, won't you? Olive, when you've made it. The channel isn't there anymore. Couldn't you redo the pattern? I could, Linda, if I could sew an extra day in the week. Um, it's yeah, I, I can't I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how I did it, so I'd have to redesign a pattern for it. But um, I could look into that at some point. The blades don't last long enough. Oh, I have to be very careful with blades, Margaret. I do get through a lot of blades. I've been cutting up. Next month's project is uh, confetti quilting, and I did use a whole blade just cutting confetti for a day, but if you hit a pin with it or glue on your mat or anything, then it just ruins them. Um, better show you what I'm doing, I don't know, just ironing that. So that's nice and neat and flat. Then I just need to sew the button on and it's done. An egg gathering apron. I've been asked for that a few times. How many people want egg carrying aprons? I can do one of those, maybe not for next week, but I could do one. Somewhere on here I have a button which matches rather well. There we go. So, that's the cover. Snip off the thread. And there. And then I'll just measure where that's going to go on this side by wrapping it over. And I'll just put a little mark there. That should be right in the centre, but just so I know that that's in the right place there. And then I'm going to hand sew it on and I've got a bit of Embroidery thread will do for that. So you don't have to have embroidery thread, any old needle and thread is fine. 
No, I didn't close the opening, Peggy, purely because I'm running out of time. And that's a bit of hand sewing, so you would normally hand sew that closed just with a little over edge stitch. But to be honest, if I'm using this myself, I might not bother. I might just leave it there, no one's going to see it. So I'm not going to take the needle all the way through, because if you take the needle all the way through to that side, you won't get your book in. So I'm just going to catch a bit of the fabric on this side and go through here. Make a carrier for a quiche, that's a nice idea as well. And then go back through the button. I mean, put your fingers inside there if you like and just make sure that you're not going all the way through. And then back out again. And that one. And back through the bottom. And then I'm going to wrap this around the button just to give it a bit of a shank. And then to finish off, I'm making a loop. Take the needle underneath the button and come out the side and pull it to knot. We can do that again. So take it around, out the other side and pull it to knot. There we go. Laura's made a, my patchwork quilted pincushion out of red, white and blue fabrics for coronation memorabilia. And sold six today. Wow. Oh, well done. Um, uh, finding that in Grandma's or sewing box in years to come. Oh, that's a nice idea. Coronation teddy. Should have done that beforehand. Corona Are you having a coronation quiche, Michelle? Um, oh, Lego for your apron. Oh. Right, I better make sure it fits now then. So let's stick that in there. And stick that in there. And that's done. There you go. There we are. And then you should it should have enough room in the zip pocket at the front to keep a few pens, pencils, coins, whatever you, whatever you feel you need to. And again, you've got that nice snug fit in there. So I hope that's, that was a long one, wasn't it? Hour and a half. Um, I hope I explained that all right. If you wanted to um, go back through and uh, stop and start if you didn't get any of the measurements if you just joined us it's a made to measure for a book of your own so I do explain a couple of times earlier on how to measure um, for your own size of book because I know yours may not necessarily be the same size as mine with the previous one by the way this is the one oh no it's not I made a plain one without the zip cover on YouTube and I rounded the corners. This book's got rounded edges on it. This one hasn't, it's got square. Um, so if you have a look through that video, if you've got a rounded ended book, you might want to make it look that way. So, okay, bye, bye, Re. I shall see you again on Wednesday. Lovely book cover. Um, suits the fabric as well, doesn't it? Again, if you wanted to make the centre panel in a, or the zip panel in a different fabric, maybe the lining fabric, that would work well as well. Unplug in the iron, Laura. Um, so long and a lovely chat and a bit of a laugh. Good for the soul. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Sparrow's Nest, lovely book cover. Who said is an egg carrier like a baby carrier? I suppose it is, isn't it? I suppose it is. A coronation book cover, that would be a nice idea. Right, I'll see you Wednesday. Yes, Diane, because that's, that's more like your kind of time over there, isn't it? Um, well, thank you, Claire. Oh, thank you. So, so I love something. All right, right, okay. I'm going to get off. Um, do have a look um, at the Half Yard Sewing Club website if you haven't joined up already. At some of the projects that we've got on there, you've got your free month. Remember, if you use the code Welcome in capital letters when you join up, and um, and give it a go. 
give us a try, see what you think, let me know. If you don't want to stay, then you can cancel it any time as well. You're not tied in for six months or a year or anything like that. So I oh, I was doing a giveaway, Julie, yes. Um, thank you, Maria, yes. I need to do it after we've gone because at the moment on, on both YouTube and Facebook, I can only see a certain amount of um, comments. So if I scroll back, I'm only going to scroll back by about 10 minutes, and then they just dis disappear. So I should go through after I've finished and I'll, I'll scroll it all up and leave it rolling and then press the button and stop it. And I shall put a post on both Facebook and on YouTube. YouTube, it'll be in the description box underneath the video when I change hard to half. Um, like nobody would have noticed that. So when people watch that video back, they're going to be wondering what on earth you're talking about, because it says half then, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's watch it through to the end. Um, so yes, I should, I should do that now. Well, give me five minutes to switch everything off and get back down to the office. My Bobbin's fast asleep over there. She never comes down here. Um, and I shall see you again on Wednesday. I know, I don't know what we're doing, but enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for joining me today. Let me just do a little bit of housework over here. Um, oh, and have a look on my website as well if you get a sec, because we've got some... What I did on um, Crate and Crow, the, the products that we brought you there, we have um, a few bits left over which are put on the website. There's not very many, but I've, I've kept the price the same as the discounted price that was on Crate and Craft, and that'll be the one-day special. All the bags are... Oh, let me show you. Just, just, just have a look at that for a minute while I go and get this. I did keep some of these back, to be honest. That was deliberate. We've got the bamboo handle bag kits. Um, I didn't actually put everything that we had on Create and Craft because I wanted to save some for you as well because not everybody shops on Create and Craft but we do have the kits back in stock on the website um, they're not under new arrivals you'll have to search uh, round bamboo handled or bamboo handled bag or bag kits just search for it and we do have those and for the moment that's it Kim can't get hold of any more of these handles these are the real bamboo ones um, She's found some more, but they're, they're slightly different, apparently. So we might do a different bag with those when they arrive. But we do have those on the website. So again, we've kept the Crate and Craft price, the discounted Crate and Craft price, but you get your extra 10%, remember, as a Half Yard Club member. So you, you get another 10%. That's 20%. Um, anyway, my medicine hasn't arrived yet. Um, when did you order it, Claire? Was that from Crate and Craft? Everything on Crate and Craft is on five days extended delivery. Um, the last of all of the orders will be going out on Monday. E everything should be gone by Monday. How long it takes every to get to you, I don't know, I'm afraid, but everything will have left us by Monday. Um, we had pick up, yes, we've had pickups every day this week, so they are, they are going out gradually. So it shouldn't be too long. Brace the handles in place before machine stitching. Oh, on this one, yes, that's a good idea. It's not too difficult to put the handles in, to be honest. Um, no, 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 don't base them. Don't base them, because the way that it works, I can't show you too much because it's already sewn in. You put this underneath the sewing machine and fold the fabric over as you sew, so you wouldn't be able to baste it first because it's, it all crumples up as you go, and then you feed the handle through as you're sewing it. Um, there should be a picture on the instructions that explains that, that quite well. So you draw a line on the lining here. So there'll be a line drawn on here, and then you literally fold the edge over and join it and sew it like that, and spin the handle around as you're sewing. So, or Sandra's got her Madison bags, lovely, lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go and do my draw. I uh, tried to join via Create and Craft a cup of... Oh, really? Um, have you, Kathleen, have you actually bought the code? Have you got a code? Well, you do that if you, if you haven't. You do get your free month if you wanted to go to Half Yard Sewing Club now anyway. Um, yes, he did do those on Create and Craft, and he did them the same way as I did for those as well. He did the round ones, didn't he? You're right, Laura. Um, yeah, Kathleen, have a look at the free month. Try maybe going down that route. Um, if you join that way, you can pay monthly, which you can't if you join with the Create and Craft 
offer so that that might be a bit of a bonus anyway there was a price problem they're supposed to call me and fix four days ago really chase them up chase them up on that one because that's not that's not good is it that's not very good Anyway, I'm going to get off because it's really late now. It's half past five. Been here for ages. Nice to have your company today. I shall see you again on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.